Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today what should come in the mail, but my uh, prize that I won from Softflex's Live Sale. So we're going to make this into a necklace. So um, we'll turn down and I'll show you what I plan on doing. Here's our package. Now the only other, the only beads in here which are large hole are the little yellow porcelain and that's fine. We'll use all of those. Well, not all of them. There's and uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten, eleven. So we have we have too many to make um, an even amount on either side. So what we're going to just do is we'll put all of these back in their bag. We'll save them for something else. So what we are going to do, however, is... Hmm. Not the right color. Too bad. Because if this blue had been the right color, we could have put that in as well. But it, those are teal and red. So I don't think anything in my package will really work in my oh-so-sweet package. So what we're going to do is I have these big, these are big hole beads also, a little too bigger than those even. But what we're going to do is take these up like this. And we're going to take our... Um, leather here. I think this is 1.5. It might be 2. I'm not exactly sure. We don't need this much, but I'm not sure exactly how much we are going to need. So I'm going to take at least this and we're going to go through the hole of our donut. Come on, baby, go through. Bend it. And then we're going to make a lark's head knot. So it's going to sit like here. This is our findings here. So then we'll want, if we wanted to, we could put a regular overhand knot right here. But what we are going to do is split these in two going in either direction. And we're going to put a yellow barrel yellow. Now this is going to slide down here, both of you. And then I'm going to put a knot a regular just overhand knot right here. And slide it down close to the beads. And then we'll pull it tight. And this is why I said we could have put a knot here if we'd wanted to because then we have these here as well. And then we're going to do the same thing again with the bead, the metal, and the bead. Let it slide down and use an overhand knot. So it's like that. Pretty simple. Now let's see how long I've got this uh, this length still going here. I want at least, uh, I was going to say at least 10, but it's 12, so it's plenty long enough. And now, well, I was going to just cut this, but then we've got those knots in there, so I don't know how long the knots are going to add. So we'll go yellow bead, metal bead, yellow bead. And we're just going to make it exactly like the other side. 
So here they are. And then we'll put a knot here like we did on the other side. So let's do our overhand knot. Pull this down, go all the way down to here, where it like the other one is. Now we do this again with the other beads here. Slide those beads down, make our overhand knot. Now you can add some glue to these knots if you want to, but it's not a necessity of life. Um, so now we're just going to take these two lines, roll them up here, so we get about the proper length, and we're going to cut this other wire right here, or the cord, I should say. So now we can get rid of this other cord. Okay, so we'll probably want to pull on this some so that they're about the same length. Because because this is a donut, you can't and a lark's head, you can oops, excuse me, pull them so they will uh, change their direction a little bit. And you do want to make sure that they're about the same length and that they're not all curled up. See how this one's curled some? That's all right. We can get it to uncurl some. But we'll push on it some to lock this knot down here some. Now this knot obviously isn't wanting to cooperate a lot. It wants to move around some, but that's all right. It will, uh, in time, it will um, pull out there. That's all right. And as you can see, these are about the same place. They're not off by much. And if you need to adjust them some, like I said, you can pull the lark's head some. Now we want to decide if we want it really this length or if we want to cut it some, because it is going to be quite long, it's, uh, 24 inches. And because we're going to be about to put our... Uh, our caps on, we want it to be about the right length that we want it to be. So, actually, I'm not thinking that'll be too bad of a length. I might cut off just a little bit. Um, because we are going to add the hardware, which will add length to it. So I think I'll cut off about half an inch. That's all we need to cut off is about half an inch. So cut that off. It's not quite half an inch, but it's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, we've got these little end caps right here. And they're going to go sliding onto here, like so. Now see, that one went on a lot easier than this one. That's no big deal. They will go on, both of them, obviously. But before they go on, we want to put just a teeny touch of glue in here. So we'll get our Loctite. Open it up, and we're just going to put like one or two drops right into our 
cap here. Right there. And now I usually use E6000 on everything, but I do use Loctite on the leather pieces. So now that we've done that, I want to take and push this in again till it comes to the other side, which it just did. Do the same with this one. And now we want to take our pliers and squish down, see this middle piece right there? We want to squish that. And then we turn it over and squish from the other side as well. So this one's done. Now we need to do the same with this one. So go right down in the middle there and squish and turn it and squish again. So there are our little end pieces on our leather. So now all it needs is to have it's hardware put on. So we're going to put on a large jump ring. Now be aware your glue isn't quite dry so you'll want to let it sit after you get this finished for a while. And I'm going to switch these large ones for a medium size uh, jump ring for the lobster claw. So then we'll open this one up. And put it on this other side and the lobster claw. Close her up. And our necklace is done. Now I will tell you that you want to let these dry for a little while. I really didn't while I was working here. They're still sticky. I could feel them right there on my fingers. But there is our necklace done with our leather. And we will, like I say, have to let this relax a little bit. It's going to try and be kinked up some like it is right now. But there she is, all finished. We have these very large crimp beads. So what we can do since this wants to keep wiggling around here, is we can pull this the way we want it. Then we can take this crimp tube, or the, I should say, the um, crimp cover, put it over our leather because it's plenty big enough to go across, and then close our crimp bead. Ooh. It doesn't really want to, but it does need to, if we're going to leave it here. So, oops, come on, baby, down you go. Now, like I say, if you want, you could put, um, oh, I twisted it here. You could put some glue on your knots. So here we go. That holds this a little tighter right here because it is a little loose. So go. Go. So now that puts those beads right there. That one's a little bit 
Still needs some adjusting. It doesn't want to be closed quite right. See how it's a little open here at the bottom? There, I think we got it. And that will tighten up right here since we didn't have it really tight. And like I say, if you want to put some glue on your leather right here in your knots, you can do that. And if we really wanted to, we could take our upper knot out. Well, no, I think those wiggle around still. They'll move. I was going to say we could take our upper knot off and put the uh, crimp tube a uh, crimp cap up there as well but the only problem with that is that they these do move so um you wouldn't want them to be right there because it would let your beads move around but But you could take those out because if you wanted to, if you changed your mind and did that, because why are we all knotted up like this, you? So you could just unknot them because you don't have, because there is a way, you know, they're not, uh, not them because they aren't glued or anything. You just push them open like so, and then knot them. We don't want them unknotted, so we'll tighten that back up. So, there we go. I don't think that these are big enough to go over that knot, or I might consider it just to make them consistently from top to bottom. But... Oh, come on, you open up. Yes, there's, there, they are quite large. They could probably, they might be able to go over the knot. But, see, they would look like so then. No, nah, they can't. Well, they can, but it's uh, coming out the edge. Because it's obviously on it right there. But, um... The whole knot won't go, won't stay in there. If it could, it would sit like this. I think we'll leave it with just the knot, though. Now I have to get this back off. There we go. See, I can't get this to go and keep the knot inside it, so that's fine. We'll leave it as is right here. And the knot is keeping this. This one's pretty tight, so I don't have to worry about this going and banging down here too much. So there we go. There is our leather necklace all finished uh, with the addition of the bead caps, the crimp caps back down here. And uh, I think that... That added something to it there. So there she is again, all done. And like I say, the knots, um, the leather will loosen up and be more consistently hang once it hangs for a while. So there we go, one simple leather um, necklace made with that really cool donut. Like I say, our knots will um, stay in place better and loosen up after they hang for a while. But there we go. Definitely a more casual style of necklace. 
but it looks cool. See? I'm not sure if that's dry all the way. It appears to be pretty dry, so we'll maybe put it on. There we go. So that's where it will hang. And uh, like I say, it will um, become more, uh, once the leather hangs for a while, it'll hang at a more uh, definite, um, it won't be so kinked up. So there we go. That's my um, necklace with using my Softflex little um, kit that I won in the live sale giveaway. Your donut is going to move in your leather so um, because I don't have it any way attached to any particular way. But, um, I think it looks cool. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and this lovely necklace is from Softflex. Uh, some pieces I won from Softflex Company. Bye-bye.